Okay, this will be the last one on the new modifications for a while. Hopefully I've got the camera the right way around this time as the last one, some of the video was sideways or something and didn't realize until I'd uploaded it to YouTube. Anyway, so here we go. Still a work in progress with the new pantry, etc. But I come over here now. These are all empty, and I'm going to change uh, this liner to white because I think the white one looks so much better. I think they're all empty. Oh no, this one still got a bit of stuff in there only because um, I need to get some smaller containers as I think using the larger ones is a waste. So, um, but that one's now empty. Pretty much all three there this one should be empty i think oh no that's just a leftover liner for now that's all that's in there so that's really just until um, we finish lining the drawers i'm going to change these black ones to the white ones um, so yeah i think white looks better so, um what else have i done oh this is a bit cleaner up here now. I've just, like literally, there's rubbish here. They can go in the bin, bin there. Actually, they can probably go in there. There's mouse traps. Oh, what have we got here? Why is there bags in there? This one, that's rubbish. So yeah, that's a lot cleaner now than it used to be. Um, may just have to get a box or something for my juicer. Probably keep the blender out or something similar up there, but I should be able to tidy that up also now. So if I come to the pantry, now that we've had time to play with it, it's still a work in progress. storage in the pantry now it's not funny um, so the only thing I should have done is I had some spare oh, these are, oh, hang on and I didn't spot them until yesterday and I should have give them to the cabinet maker I had some spare of these bulbs here that's actually in the bottom of the pantry oh, sorry bottom of the overhead there but it's actually, it's sort of, oh, I forget how it goes in. I think, oh, it should be able to, it may be able to do it from the bottom. I'll have to, because I know when, when I got this one installed, you literally drill the hole out for the light, wherever it's gone. Oh, hang on. Let me zoom it back out again. Yeah, so you drill the hole out for the light. And then the cord for the light actually runs to the back of the cupboard inside the... I can show you on here probably. On the pantry itself. So the light actually fits inside, inside here. So there's nothing visible from the top or from the bottom. And the light gets sort of installed here. And then I think the line for the light gets drilled from behind. There's some sort of jig. But, um, so I mean here I've got dog food. Um, because I discovered the little moose or the mouse was um, getting into the dog food. So I've rectified that. So managed to get all the big bulky stuff such as the, um, what do you call it? slow cooker and everything inside a couple of these big 
black containers so they're out of the way. Um, yeah, so I've got tons of room, like literally, and this is only like, like a really quick, I've got to get some different containers. There's all my containers out of drawers up there and I've got shitload of room left over which is really really good dog food in this big blue one now so he just manages to fit in there and that's awesome oh and I I swing around here I'll just shut the door be nice if they're on oh yeah I don't know um Come around here. Oh, there's my finger again. So I've managed to tidy up all the stuff that was up there. Um, now this is just temporary. It's nothing. That's just my diet shakes. It just they were just in there because they're up on top of the bench and the container was um, busted. So I just threw them in the drawer. Um, but this drawer, I've done this. So that's all the stuff that I used to have on the bench. Um, and we're looking at it today, now apparently, uh, this one's a bit dodgy in here because they come in a set of three, so the three drawers, and then they had a set of two single ones, and then another set of three, um, well sorry, yeah, two single ones, and it turns out we worked out today that I'm better off to buy another triple um, and cut it down to a double because it doesn't quite fit in there um, whereas if I cut down a double it should fit in there almost perfectly um, just a shame I couldn't get it in any other color but this gray color but um, I would have put it in the top drawer but the issue being when they've put the slow cooker in this drawer is slightly smaller like it's not as deep as the other two I don't know if there's a way I can work out how much deeper it is but um yeah that's so anyway it's got to go in either the middle one or the lower one um so anyway and we'll go through to the um, laundry now and hopefully the video is the right way around um, I haven't got the freezer back in the laundry yet. That might be Monday's job. It should hopefully go back in there. Because it's a little bit different in here now. Slightly. Okay. Now. Got to get another laundry basket from somewhere, but anyway. Now, ended up buying three of these containers down here to put in the pantry, but it turns out that only two fitted. So I figured, well, I can put one in the laundry for some sort of storage. Now, um, actually, put this clothesline in for me, this this one here, the one that just folds down off the wall. Now it's a shame they didn't um, think ahead again and then they could have reinforced the wall and it wouldn't look so ugly but um, it's installed and then we've got, what the hell, hang on, might have been next door but anyway um i am yeah, discovered uh, what have you got to do to lock this I'm just going to lock this door this window anyway 
Um, yeah. So that's really good. So that's basically that clothesline there is for me. As you can see, I can reach it quite easily. There we go. So that's for me. And then we've got another big tall one that runs a full length of the laundry. That's for my support workers. So if we need to do like a big wash, like sheets and dunas and stuff, um, we can. Now, I did say like a small one for me, but it's like this thing is huge. But hey, it's in. <laughs> now, I don't know if anyone else can walk under it, but hey, I can get under it quite easily. Um, anyway, if you need to, you can fold it down against the wall. And hopefully, um, there should be enough room to put the freezer back in here. And I should still be able to get in to do stuff. Anyway. So, yeah. Um, just got to get like a... Probably get a bin or something. I've got a white bin on a blue lid, but that's okay. So, yeah, so that's the latest on the laundry. So that should be it now. They should be finished. Oh, I just have to make sure I... Not that door. Still got to change that window though, I'll do that shortly. I think gizmo footprints up there already. Really? They bloody look like it, look. Can you see it on the wall there? Anyway, I'll upload this one.